learning objectives for today are first of all we must be able to open a suspense account so when when i when i say suspense account it means two things number one deciding uh, finding out the balance and number two deciding which side of the suspense account the balance will appear and the second goal is we must be able to correct errors uh, where suspense account is needed we must be able to pass journal entries and complete the entry in the suspense account so which involves preparation of a complete suspense account after this lesson you have to ask yourself these questions like can i open a suspense account can i determine suspense account balance and decide if it has a debit or credit balance it debit side pe aayega ya credit side pe aayega can i explain what kind of errors are corrected by using suspense account and can i make correcting entries in the journal if you can do all of these thing it means you have successfully learned about correction of errors in suspense account uh, with the help of this question we will understand the whole concept so i'm going to read it out for you so it's, it goes like you have extracted a trial balance on 31st december 2006 which failed to agree now once you read in the question that the trial balance fails to agree so this should automatically come to your mind that this question is about suspense account this question is going to be about errors so moving ahead when they say it failed to agree and they gave you the amount they failed to agree by 350 they they are telling you the difference now this thing it's giving you the difference usually there are two ways they tell you this information either they will give you the difference or they will give you the total of debit balances of a trial balance and total of credit balances so in that case you will have to find out the difference but in this case they have already given you the difference so now we automatically know that this 350 is the balance on suspense account whatever the difference is between debit balances and the credit balances that is going to be the balance of suspense account yahan pe hame clear ho gaya ki ye to suspense account ka balance hai aage dekhte hain kya hai a shortage on the debit side of the trial balance now they are telling us there is a shortage the debit side is smaller and credit side of the trial balance is bigger if you read this the debit side there is a shortage on the debit side this should automatically come to your mind that suspense account will have a debit balance so with this first sentence we decided that 350 is going to be the balance and this is going to appear on the debit side of the suspense account and then um, the question goes like a suspense account was opened now we automatically know that it is going to be opened the following errors were later found now they are talking about the errors there are total five errors and then the requirement the journal entries of course and then we have to prepare the suspense account if you can pass the journal entries suspense account is just copy paste let's go ahead and see how to open a suspense account first of all you will open make an account will name it suspense account i'm going to repeat it the first thing you will think about is the balance total of debit balances minus total of credit balances in short the difference so in our question they did not give us total of debit balances and total of credit balances they just gave us the balance that was 350 and we knew that the total of debit balance is smaller that's why we are going to record the balance on the debit side of this account i have written it down for you that the suspense account will have a debit balance when debit balances are less than credit balances and vice versa so now since i know the difference that is 350 i know the debit side of the trial balance is there's a shortage on the debit side what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my balance in the suspense account as 350 on the debit side so if the question was if the question had said that the credit side of the trial balance is smaller i would put this balance on the credit side here we have learned about opening a suspense account calculating the balance of the suspense account and then placing the balance in the t account okay so till now we have recorded the balance number 1 number 2 we have opened the suspense account okay and we have decided that the balance is going to be on the debit side of suspense account since this there was a shortage on the debit side now we will move to the errors So the first error is the purchases day book had been undercast by 200. Undercast means that means that the total is 200 less, and purchases day book is the book of prime entry. 
So let's analyze this error. That's my error. Purchases, the first thing that comes to my mind and will come to your mind is what is purchases daybook? Well, basically that's a book of prime entry. We also call it purchases journal. How does it look like? It looks like this. It's basically a list of creditors, creditor A, creditor B, C, D, E, and then there's, there's a total. So what happens is that when we do double entry, this total of the purchases daybook goes to the purchases account. It goes here. And then it's, and it's very obvious that purchases account will be debited. The purchases, the total amount is debited in the purchases account. So what's credited is all the creditors accounts separately. So if I want to credit creditor A, I will take the figure from here. And then for creditor B, I will take the figure from here. So now since the, there is a problem with the total, the total is 200 less, the account affected is the purchases account. Okay. So how am I going to correct this? I will add 200 to the total. I will do plus 200 here, but clearly that doesn't solve my problem. I have to pass a double entry in the T accounts in the journal. So what I'm gonna do is the moment I add plus 200 in the totals, the purchases account will have to be debited because we know that the normal side of the purchases account is the debit side. And whenever we make purchases or increase that number, the purchases account will be debited. So the moment I debit purchases account with 200, my error is corrected. Everything is perfect now. But the thing is, there is a rule for every debit, there is a credit. So since my single entry corrects this account, I have to complete this double entry in another account. That will be the suspense account. So here I will, entry, I will record and complete my double entry. So how it goes is, first of all, you add 200 to the total plus 200. That's your rough work. That is not required in the question, but you will do it for your understanding. And now since 200 has been increased to the purchases, I will have to debit the purchases account by 200. Okay. And this corrects my error. But again, I have to complete this entry in the suspense account. Therefore, I will credit the suspense account. Now my error has been corrected. Everything has been done. So now I have to just copy and paste in the journal. The next step is to go to the journal and record this entry here. Purchases, I have debited by 200. Suspense account, I have credited. You see, the suspense account has been credited. So as a, as a requirement as a, the, that you remember in the part B, I have to prepare a suspense account. I'll go to my suspense account and just copy and paste on the credit side because I already know from my working that suspense account has been, will have to be credited. So this completes all the requirements of the question for error one. So is that, yeah. The next error is the insurance account. Now remember, insurance account is the expense account. And the expense account is always debited, or you can say the normal side or the increasing side of the expense account is the debit side. It had been under cost. The problem is with the number, not with the side. So it had been under cost means that we have to increase it. The, the number that was recorded in the insurance account is less. So under cost by 50. So it was 50 less. So now we, we can figure out, okay. In the insurance account, the debit side is 50 less. So that's the error. I'll make the insurance account. Okay. If the debit side is 150 less, what do I have to do? I will have to increase it which means I will debit my insurance account. If you see that with one single entry, the error has been corrected. The other entry will be in the suspense account. So I have to make a suspense account. I will credit it. See, insurance debited, suspense account credited. Now I can uh, complete the formalities. I will go to the journal, insurance account debited, suspense account credited. Now I will go to the suspense account. Here, this was already there, the balance and the first error correction. Now I will record 150 here because of the insurance expense account. So the error has been corrected. General entry has been passed. Suspense account is updated. When you correct all the errors, your suspense account will look like this. 
at the end, suspense account will close down. Uh, there will be no closing balance and it will be a sign that you have responded to your question accurately. That's about it, boys. Let's recap. How to find the balance of suspense account? Simple. Debit balances minus, debit credit minus, balance. minus total credit. Exactly. When would a suspense account have a credit balance? When the credit balance is smaller than the debit balances in the trial balance. Why a suspense account is needed? To correct those errors that cause a disagreement in the trial balance. A suspense account is always closed down after correcting all the errors. Yes, it's true. 